Okay, the third example here. The probability of Susie passing the math test is 85%. Find the probability of her failing the test. Okay, so her passing, the probability of, of an event occurring, which is her passing the math test, is 85%. We have to find the probability of her failing the test. So it's out of a possible 100%, right? So we know that from 100%, we have to subtract the percent of um, the probability that she's going to pass the test to see what the probability of her failing the test is going to be. So from here, this is 15%. So this and this together have to make up the 100% because that's the whole thing. She's either going to pass it or she's going to fail it, right? So this is the pass and this is the fail. Together, they have to make up the 100%, the whole thing. So probability of her failing the test is going to be at 15%. The second one, the probability of Sam not picking the correct color marble from a bag is 5 over 8. Find the probability of him picking the correct marble. Okay, so the probability of Sam picking the marble, let's just say marble, the correct marble. Now, this is what they're asking for, right? They want to know what the probability of him picking the correct marble is going to be. Well, he's either going to pick the correct marble or he's going to pick the incorrect marble, right? So here, to find, now we know, okay, so then the probability, what's given to us, of not picking the correct color is going to be 5 eighths. So the probability of not picking the correct marble not correct marble is 5 over 8. So then to find the probability of actually picking the correct marble is going to be one whole because the whole thing is one whole, right? There's 8 marbles total. So 8 over 8 is 1. One whole minus 5 over 8. Okay, so then here, to do this, 1 minus 5 over 8, I need to change this 1 into a whole number. Okay, again, remember it's 8 over 8 because I need the denominators to be the same. I have to have the top number and the bottom number be the same number for it to just be 1. And the denominators have to be the same, so it has to be 8 over 8 minus 5 over 8. See yeah, how those are the same? Whenever we subtract fractions, then this becomes 3 over 8. So if the probability of him not picking the correct marble is 5 over 8, then the probability of him actually picking the correct marble is going to be 3 over 8. Because together, they have to make up one whole. Okay, One whole is going to be 100%. It's going to be all of it. And he's either going to pick the correct one or he's going to not pick the correct one, right? So these two numbers together have to add up to one whole. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. Educator.com.